TAJ Sports with Mike Veek. Last night it was Bishop McCourt rewriting its record book. Today, State College had to bust out the eraser. The Little Lions also heading to Hershey for the first time in school history. Well, all good things come to those who wait. After falling in the state final four three different times, State College finally gets a shot at gold. The fact that they won might not surprise you, but the ease with which they dispatched of Cumberland Valley might open your eyes. We've got the video. Check it out. The Lions beat Eagles by just four in the regular season. Just a bit more on the line this time around. This, folks, is how you start a football game. Opening kickoff, Shane Dorner scoops it up, makes one cut, and show them your taillights, my friend. 88 yards to the maroon paint. They would miss the extra point just like that. Six zip state. CV responds on the ensuing drive. Travis Friend not so friendly to the light to the little line defense. Second effort gets him in. Eagles up 7-6. The lead didn't last long though. Second quarter, the Lions pinned inside the five. Looks like trouble, but Don Mills knows how to get out of it. Just chuck it deep. Alex Kenny runs under it. 95-yard pitch and catch the longest passing touchdown in PIAA playoff history. State up 20-7 at the break. Then third quarter, everything the Lions drawing up, turning to gold, the fake field goal. Matt Mazzara finds Colby Way, his second touchdown of the game. State wins at 35-13. How do you feel about it, Coach? Uh, it's unbelievable. You know, if you asked us in the beginning of the season, we'd be, we'd be playing in December on December uh, 19th or whatever it is down in Hershey. I don't think there were too many people would have said it. Uh, but these guys, we asked them to get better each game, each practice, and they took that approach. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're here. When we went undefeated in ninth grade, we knew our we knew our class was special, and we just always talked about making the state championship. And you know, we just worked hard in the weight room. We were younger on the scout team. Everyone got better, and it. And, we're here. Well, what a weekend. After going five years without a single state football finalist from District 6, we have two in the same season. Bishop McCourt beat Tri-Valley 42-27 last night to lock up a spot in a single-A title game. The Crushers broke open a tie game in the second half, thanks in large part to its dynamic duo. Josh Seidel ran for 185 yards and scored four touchdowns, and his classmate Dane DeMonclos racked up more than 200 all-purpose yards and scored a pair of touchdowns. McCourt also heading to Hershey for the first time in school history. I mean, I think there are a few doubts, uh, you know, early season, you know, about uh, close games, if we could stick in a full game, and uh, I think we proved everyone that we can. Just, you know, know all the great players, all the great teams that's been through here, and uh, be the first team to go to the state, state championship. It's, it's amazing. One more to go, you know. I mean, we worked this hard. You don't want to lose in the state championship. We're going to go out there and give 110% and see what can happen. The Penn State men's basketball team won a championship last year. Yeah, it was the NIT championship, not the big one. This year, the Lions are more interested in the NCAA tourney, at least making it there. Tonight, a good shot to pad the resume. Taylor Battle and company up against ACC foe Virginia Tech. Or maybe I should just say Battle by himself against Virginia Tech. He was a one-man wrecking crew. First half, nobody picks him up. That's a mistake. Buries the triple. Taylor with 19 in the first half. PSU up three. Then a few minutes later, the boys running and Jeff Brooks jumping. Get up. The huge throwdown on the alley-oop is of the game. This one tied at the half. The Hokies take control midway through the second half. Malcolm Delaney in the open floor. Uh-oh. The bucket bonus. Delaney with 27 points on the night. The Lions down five at that point. Penn State would not go away, though. Down two with seven seconds left. VTech misses a free throw. Taylor battle the rebound. We've seen him do it plenty of times for the tie. Can't get it to go this time. He had 32 points in the game, but he left two out there. The Hokies win it 66-64. The Lady Lions facing number 15 Pitt. Remember, they upset the Panthers at the BJC two years ago. Let's jump right to the second half. PSU up through with less than six minutes to go off the loose ball. Tyra Grant right to the rack. She gets three the old-fashioned way. Then a few minutes later, more from Miss Grant. The spin, then the hoop and the harm again. She finished with a season high 27 points. PSU up six. Pitt not going down though. Not at least not going down easy. Scott buries the three, lead down to one, but no panic in Penn State today. On the other end, Zsa, Zsa Gray book it and book a Penn State upset victory 77-73. The final, the Lions improved to 17-1 at home against Pittsburgh. The high school basketball season tipped off last night. Tonight, the championship of the Lady Marauder Classic, BG against Northern Cambria. First quarter, great ball movement from Bishop Guilfoyle. Haley Adams all alone underneath for the deuce. The Marauders up 15 after one. The Colts make a run, though, to start the second. Ariel Rocco off the bounce, off the glass. They get within nine, but they had no answer for Allie Williams. 
Not that anybody else does. She muscles through the double team for the Deuce. Williams finished with 23 points. The Marauders win the Marauder Classic with a 62-49 victory. Time to give the guys some pubs. Central and Williamsburg from the Cove. Pick it up in the first quarter. Shane Cafferty feeling it. The three ball from the corner is good. It's also the 1,000th point of his career. He scored Central's first eight points. Quite an accomplishment for him. But the Pirates keeping it close early. Corey Miller goes strong from the baseline. Williamsburg down just four. But Central too tough tonight. Brandon Myers gets the three-point play. Dragons win 58 35. We'll finish on the ice, the Mellon Arena ice to be exact. The Penguins usually enjoy playing at home, but not so much lately. Pittsburgh trying to avoid its first three-game losing streak at the Igloo in more than a year. Fortunately for the Pens, the lowly Panthers visiting the Steel City. The game tied at one in the second. Not for long, Evgeny Malkin scoops up the loose puck and finds Ruslan Fedotenko. That's as easy as it gets. Fedotenko's first goal in 14 games. 2-1 Pittsburgh at Florida finds the equalizer in the third off the rebound. Steven Weiss beats Brian Johnson. The game ends up in OT. In OT, pens in the power play, and check this out. Bang! That's how you win a game right there. A one-timer from Malkin. That's your game winner. Pittsburgh wins 3-2. And NCAA Volleyball, Penn State beat Cal today to pick up their 100th consecutive wow. match victory. That's crazy. Think about it. 100 straight victories. That's awesome. Even like peewee football. Right. <laughs> yeah.